I hadn't watched last episode, I might have been confused about the title, but uh, we definitely did see some snow, so Pursuit Over the Snow is a very fitting title, I would assume. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover. Episode 31 is the one we were on last episode. We had Gauche. Until I get some comments confirming how to pronounce it, I'm just going to go with it. I apologize if I sound like an idiot. Happens a lot. Um, Gauche and Asta not trying to meet up in Neen, but Marie ends up happening to be in Neen, and uh, so is Rebecca. So it makes a lot of sense why we met up, but then there's this random snow mage who is... Er, ice mage mist mage snow mage something along those lines that is kidnapping all the kids to be his friend i'm so curious about that yeah i'm so curious about rebecca and noel you know the whole asta harem that whole spiel i'm just and i'm curious about uh Gauche's backstory and why he's a convict stuff like that so without any further ado let's hop into this remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show all the other shows i'm watching make sure to check out that patreon down below if you guys want to support me and patreon is not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment it really does help me with the youtube algorithm trust me trust me trust me and if you guys are not subscribed make sure to smash that subscribe button join the dapper squad always appreciated always welcome we have a discord down below if you guys want to hop in there good times don't forget to follow me on all my socials instagram twitter and twitch at dapper darius thank you guys so much let's hop into this black clover episode 31 pursuit over the snow Asta's like, what the fuck are you doing here, Noel? Yeah, I was visiting my uh, homie Kevin down a couple blocks down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Neither of them really liked the title they were given. <laughs> That's girls for you. Bro, he full on tried to swing on an elderly woman. Good. He definitely deserves that one. Oh, oh, I love that callback. Ooh, ooh. So she has that. So she has that at all times. Okay, that's good. That's a good GPS. Yes, please. Keep keep yelling at this man. She's not just an ordinary old lady. She was the one who could tell there was magic in the snow. Come on, Asta. Don't worry, Rebecca. On a, on our magic knight's honor, we will save them. <laughs> Nero's just cold. That's the creepiest spot to bring a bunch of children is a cave. Bro, come on. Look at their glazed over dead faces. Come on. Okay, she does have that mirror. Oh, it broke the spell. Don't bring too much attention to yourself. Ah, uh, man, I was hoping she would blend in. Yeah, that's the exact opposite of being a friend. That makes him a slave. Oh, God, this is like... Jesus Christ. Eiji? Well, 
borrow. He can see the amount of magic in people. That's actually kind of cool. It's like a scouter. Jesus, he will freeze to death in a matter of tw 20 minutes. Jesus. I've sent my best man on the job. I don't know about Gauch, Gauche, but Asta, you got it. Of course. Of course. That's yeah, you're doing really good. Yeah. Something something like that, yeah. Yeah. Good observation. There's not many places to hide a fuck ton of kids. Bro, you're a magic knight. I'm saying, that's literally what I'm saying. How can you call yourself a magic knight when you're not going to protect a dying child? Damn, Yami looks so badass. Don't know why he told you that, though. <laughs> oh, and that's Marco, too. Yeah, damn, that's awful. Yeah, just a little tap him. Don't cut him, but... Yeah, she's like, that's a big... Yeah, I was about to say, give him a little nudge. Get that little magic in him out of him. I was about to say, don't cut him like you did yourself. Yeah, being out there for that, that just kicking in frostbite. Flame recovery. Oh, that's what fucking... That's similar to what uh, Diamond Boy used. I'm not going to look at his name right now because I have it written down, but that's so cool. Mars. How did I forget that? His name was Mars. Also, which a lot of people commented uh, on the Black Clover episode that just went on YouTube, which is 24, which I'm a little bit ahead um, when I record these, obviously, guys. But a lot of people told me, which thank you for your answers. I always appreciate it, that people's magic is very distinctive and special towards them uh, you're not often going to be sharing it with anyone so no matter how strong magna became he would never get the spells that um Fuegolian gets only reason him Fuegolian and leopold even share spells is because they're family members so they can even share just a couple but spells are going to be a very unique and very specialized towards the individual being um, so with that being said, like I love, even though we've seen Magna fire, we've seen Fuegolian fire, we've seen Mars fire, we're now apparently Sister Old Lady has fire too. We've seen multiple different kinds of fire. We've seen multiple different kinds of flame binding. We've seen multiple different kinds of flame recovery. Like this is literally like they go so expansive. They could just play it fucking. They could be lazy and just have them all use just a basic fire binding, basic fire. But it's like. And then she has ones with candles. Like, it's just so unique. I love it. But thank you guys for your comments. That's good to know. You know, I noted. Yeah, get wear this. Just this once. That's, a, that's such a cool way to say it to a kid. You're an honorary magic knight until we come back and get you. I was expecting it to be like anime where he arrives just before we start doing the crazy shit. But we're already doing the crazy shit. Oh my god. We're, we've already done like fucking 15 kids. What happens to a, somebody once all your magic is taken out of you? I know you're like physically exhausted and you have to recover, right? But that's Jesus Christ. She's been hurt. She's been scuffled. Hey, you should have aimed that a little bit more to your right, man. Come on. 
snow magic, snow cry. Mirror shift. Ooh, that's like a teleporting magic. He can put a mirror over the teleports. That's really cool. Yeah, why are you kidnapping kids if you can fucking make snow friends? Look at these. Look at all these Frosty the Snowman head asses. That's cool. He can just reflect it and bounce it so many times with the amount of mirrors he has. He can turn it to like a uh, just an entire room of just straight death. What were you told about? Yeah, who told you that? Who hired you? He's gonna try taking Maria's hostage or something. Yep. It's the only logical pawn you have at this point. Hell yeah, old sister old lady brings him in, coming for the Beyblade swipe. Oh, knocks him out with a quick one too. Marie goes running to Creepy Chan. Jesus Christ. I, this man's like Zenitsu level of annoying. Like, he's cool for his moments, but oh my god, relax. Yes. Come on, sister old lady. Oh, yeah. I was wondering if there was going to be any long term repercussions on this, which, ooh, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say kill them or go break that machine. See if the magic will outpour and flow back into the kids. <laughs> you know what they say in anime, the strongest fighters are able to conceal their power. I'm just saying. Idiot. You gotta think, if Asta's sword was sharp, he would have killed so many villains by now. He's just done that so many times, just, you know, clapped them. Man, I kind of wanted to wrap that up in that episode. Man, I want to see the end of that. Like I said, I was wondering if there was going to be any long-term repercussions to these kids. I, uh, we're still not done yet. We got my boy Marco healing outside. I love the whole... Uh, speech because that's a whole thing dealing with like victims you know of, of incidents but it's a whole nother thing dealing with kids Asta knows how to deal with kids very well so I really enjoyed that he <laughs> that's been very shown I love how Marie went straight to him my man Gouch or Goosh or Gucci or Coochie Gucci whatever you call him is so annoying it's hilarious but he's like Zeddy too you know it's like you love to hate him pretty much like he has his cool moments but it's like at least Zenitsu was chasing after other women whereas Gouch the Gucci Gucci is only going after his sister which is it's a little weird I won't it's, a, it's very weird but you know I'm curious as to how he got into a fight with Yami and Yami was like just protect whatever you want that's cool and he was like all right sounds good to me I'm so curious there's so many questions I have I want to know who hired Baro and Nay. Neji, ne Nehi, something along those lines. Um, Baro has like the, I wonder what kind of magic powers he has. Cause like oh, so far the only magic he seems to have used, maybe that's an item specifically. Cause it seems like it's, it's glasses, but he's having like magic on his, I don't know what it is, but he's like, it's like a scouter pretty much. And he's using it to tell the magic. So he thinks he had some sort of chance against Asta, fucking idiot. But it's just like, I'm so curious. I want to know more. Uh, there was some cool animation there. I love seeing the snow magic, the mirror magic, the teleportations with the reflecting. It was really cool. Um, overall, good episode. I'm excited to hop in this next one. Remember, if you guys want early access, full length, check out that Patreon down below. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure to subscribe, and then don't forget to follow me on all my socials. Dapper Darius, Twitch, Twitter, and Insta. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. Peace out.